Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me on this Wednesday afternoon for our 21-day prayer and fasting devotional. This is a very um, important, and I, I, I am so honored that I was asked to uh, be a part of this with our prayer ministry, <clears throat> because this is very important with everything that's going on. Uh, Prayer is important um, in your daily life. It's important to me in my daily life. It gets me through my daily uh, uh, journey. And fasting is extremely important as well. And um, how I'm taking it upon myself to fast uh, during this 21 day prayer and fasting, um, I am reading a lot more scriptures. Um, I, I have been reading before and, but, but, with everything that has been going on in 2020, um, it's become more intimate um, uh, for me. And fasting is just something that um, I think is, is important for, for everyone to just take part of. I will be reading from Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 22. However, I will be taking... Uh, and reading certain verses um, from, from this uh, scripture. In Isaiah chapter 60, um, God has promises. He reads these promises and he stands on these promises. We long for fulfillment, but we must patiently wait for God's timing. He is in control of history and he weaves together in all of our lives his plan. Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 through 22. I will be reading from Isaiah 60 1 through 2. Arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. Now jumping down to Isaiah 13, verses 13 through 16. The glory of Lebanon shall come to you the cypress, the pine, and the box tree together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Also, the sons of those who afflicted you shall come bowing to you. And all of those who despise you shall fall prostrate at the soles of your feet. They shall call you the city of the Lord, Zion, of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas you have been forsaken and hated, so that no one went through you, I will make you an eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. You shall drink the milk of the Gentiles and milk the breast of kings. You shall know that I, the Lord, am your savior and your redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Now verse 18, violence shall no longer be heard in your land, neither wasting nor destruction within your borders, but you shall call your walls salvation. Mm and your gates praise. Verses 19 through 22. The sun shall no longer be your light by day, nor for brightness shall the moon give light to you, but the Lord will be to you an everlasting light and your God, your glory. Your sun shall no longer go down. Mm, thank you, Lord. For the Lord will be your everlasting light 
and the days of your mourning shall be ended. Also, your people shall be righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Father God, we confess our need for you today. We need your healing. We need hope restored. We need grace. We need to be reminded that your work on behalf of those you love constantly, powerfully, and completely. Forgive us for trying to fix our situations all on our own. Forgive us for running all different directions and spinning our wheels to find help when we truly can find help in healing. All of that must be found in you. Forgive us for forgetting how much we need you above everyone and everything else. We come to you and bring you the places we are hurting. You see where no one else is able to fully see or understand. You know the pain we've carried, the burdens, the cares. You know where we need to be set free. We ask for your healing and grace to cover every broken place, every wound, every heartache. Thank you that you are able to do more than we could ever imagine. Thank you for your mighty power that acts on behalf of your children. We reach out to you and we know that you are restoring and redeeming every place of difficulty, every battle for your great glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You'll never leave us nor forsake us. And this we know. We love you. We need you. Today, every day. In Jesus' name, amen.